Hi, my name is Art Lembonono. Thank you for checking out my course, Learning SQL for ArcGIS Pro for ESRI users. Now, I've been an ESRI user for close to 30 years using all different kinds of, of products, but I'm also an open source user and I've done a lot with SQL databases and spatial SQL. So if you're like me, you think, wow, is there a way we can get these two things to, to talk together a little bit better so that we can include them both within our workflow in a more easy fashion. Well, now we can. Manifold Software Limited has just come out with a new add-in for ArcGIS Pro called SQL for ArcGIS Pro. And what it does, it allows you to write full SQL against ESRI Geo databases. Right from inside of ArcGIS, you can la launch the application and begin writing the software. Let me show you what I mean. Well, here's a classic GIS problem you might find yourself faced with. Here I want to create a new feature class of the residential parcels in the Cascadilla watershed that are at risk for flooding, or meaning they're in the A zone, and I want to sum up the land values. There's a lot going on here. First, we want to create a new feature class. So that's a bit of effort that we're going to have to do. I also need to select the residential parcels out of all the parcels in the whole county. And I have to select those that are inside the Cascadilla watershed. But I also need to bring in the flood zones to find out the risk for flooding. And at the end of all this, I need to sum up all the land values. So it's not a hard problem conceptually, but it is going to take a number of steps that can become a bit of a nuisance in a traditional GIS fashion. So I'm here in ArcGIS Pro and I've got my data for Tompkins County, New York, where you can see we have property parcels. We also have watershed boundaries. And in the red here, we have the flood zone areas. Now there are a lot of tools and wizards we have to call up in order to get this done. So instead what I'm going to do is go into to my add-ins and click Open SQL for Arc. So when we click that, SQL for Arc opens up. And on the left we can see I have all the data that was inside my ArcGIS project. And while there's an awful lot we can do inside the product, for instance just looking at the drawings themselves, we can also begin to write SQL queries. And I'm going to paste one in here right now. Let's take a quick look at this. So this is classic SQL. I'm selecting distinct or all the unique property parcels along with their assessment value and the value of the watershed zone that it's in. And I'm gonna put that into a brand new feature class called Cass Creek 2. Now I'm issuing some properties with this. I'm telling it it's gonna be an area feature, and I'm also telling it what the coordinate system is using the EPSG coordinate system. Now here's the important thing. I'm gonna do that with a three table join. I'm joining the parcels, the watersheds, and the flood zones all together with certain conditions. The condition is I wanna find it where the parcels, which I'm calling P, intersect the watersheds. I'm calling W. And I want to make sure that that watershed is Cascadilla Creek. And I want to also make sure that I'm intersecting those same parcels with the flood zones, which I'm calling F, where the zone is equal to A. Now I'm doing a couple of things here, or one other thing here, which is I'm writing threads 8. This tells my computer do this with all eight cores on my computer. So in other words, perform these geometric intersects using parallel processing. So let's give this a go. And you can see it's beginning to run the command. And I'm going to just let this run for a few seconds to show you how quickly it does get done. And remember again, we're joining three tables together as well as performing attribute queries. That says it's done. But what I want to do next is come back into ArcGIS Pro. And inside of ArcGIS Pro, we'll look at Arc Catalog. And I'll go under SQL for Arc. And let me slide this Cast Creek 2 in here. And we're going to turn off everything except those properties that met that condition. Now I may want to change things around a bit, so I'm going to get rid of this Cast Creek 2. Let's also delete it out of our Geo database. And now 
So let's make a change. Instead of just looking at the ones that intersect, that are on the edges, let's use touches. And we'll just replace these two. And let's update our query. Again, making use of parallel processing. And you can see the time that it's taking, just a few seconds to accomplish all of those tasks. Now we have more records that are selected and we can come in here and refresh our database and throw that in here. And now you can see all the rest of them. Let's turn our watersheds on. So this is Cascadilla Watershed. Now I also said I wanted maybe just the sum of the properties. Well, let's not insert that into anything. We could just run this query and instead I'm going to now type select the sum of the assessment as sum ASMT from, and let's wrap this in parenthesis as a subquery, and now we'll run the data. And again, this will only take a couple of seconds to complete the task, again, of the three table join, of the selections in the watershed, of the selection in the property parcels, of the selection in the flood zone, and then the summation of all of the property values. And there they are. And if you can see the benefit of a short SQL query like this introduced into your ESRI workflow, you're only just at the beginning of the learning. There is so much more that you can do. Well, that's it. And it really is that easy to do. So in this class, I'm going to show you how to write SQL queries against ESRI geodatabases. Now, if you're new to this, this is a great class to learn how SQL actually works. But if you're an already an accomplished SQL user, this is still going to be valuable because it's going to teach you how to do it within the context of SQL for ArcGIS Pro so that you can do it right inside of your ESRI projects and with your ESRI workflow. Now, if you're a real beginner too, we're going to spend a little bit of time talking about what SQL is and what the benefits of it are. But either way, I think this is a really great way to begin to include the benefits of SQL into your ESRI workflow. Thanks again for checking out the course and I hope you enjoy it.